everybody and all the ships at sea. Welcome back to Power Director Made Simple. Let's take a quick look at another one of Cyberlink's artificial intelligence features, the AI Voice Changer. I've got a lot of ground to cover, so I might be going through this a little fast just to show you how you can do it on your own. This AI Voice Changer feature is a voice changer. It is not a language changer. But here are two areas of where a poorly designed menu system may cause some users to get confused. If you use the launcher shortcut, there are three different language choices offered. This is only for the language that will be on the sample clip to be loaded. Any changes made using the voice changer will always remain in that original sample clip language. If you edit your own video clip using the voice changer menu, there is a choice for something called language, but this is only to narrow down the list of the avatar characters that will appear. It does not change the language of your video clip. The use of the word language on the menu choices has confused many users and is misleading. So let's see how the system works and we'll watch out for the misleading menu information. We'll start from the launcher. Note that the AI voice changer says new. Make a mental note of that, and we'll come back to that a little bit later. It is right here in the shortcut that we can click on one of three languages being offered. But remember, that is only to load a sample file with audio in that language. All changes from voice changer will still render out with the same language from the sample file. So even if you were to choose to use a Japanese sample file, but then choose a French language avatar, the rendered audio will still be in Japanese. Hopefully that didn't already confuse you. Well, it did me at first. I think 99% of the users were initially confused about this. I'm gonna click on the shortcut for the AI voice changer, and I'm gonna choose the Japanese language. The program loads as usual with a Japanese sample file on the timeline. Let's play that file just to listen to what it normally sounds like. Because we chose Japanese from the launcher shortcut, as expected, the sample file will speak in Japanese. Now, look at the various avatars. As of mid-January 2024, there are 99 different avatars plus seven special effects. Look at the menu choices at the top. Let's change the menu option language to French and see what we get. The list now only shows the French avatars. Remember, these are not French-speaking avatars because each avatar will always speak the same language in the original audio clip. I'll choose Thibaut and we'll listen to five-second preview sound. It remains in Japanese. It did not change the language to French. If we change the menu option for language to English and then chose, oh, maybe Jenny, the five second preview will still remain in Japanese. So right away you should be asking, just what is the purpose of the menu choice language when it actually has nothing to do with language? Well, that's a question I would like to ask Cyberlink. It seems like the menu choice of a language is to merely filter down the list of the colorful cartoonish avatars. And perhaps, just perhaps, the rendered audio might contain a slight hint of an accent in that chosen language, but I doubt if the AI is really that intelligent. So once you start narrowing down the list of avatars by language, the real menu choices are yet to be made. Those choices include the gender 
and the age of the speaker. In that regard, the voice changer does a fairly decent job in the rendered audio, provided you haven't been totally confused by that language choice so far. Once you hear a preview from your choice of gender and age, and maybe the language, you can hit on the blue apply button. Voice Changer will then replace the audio clip with the newly rendered one once the painstakingly slow process is complete. As you should now be able to see, using the launcher shortcut in a specific language brings up only an introductory training clip for the user to listen to and understand the words spoken as any of the real menu choices are then applied. Once you understand how to use the voice changer, you should not have any need to select the language and sample clip from the launcher shortcut. So, now let's see how you can use the voice changer on a real clip of your own. I'm going to start over and exit out of the program. I'm not going to save any of the changes. Starting from the launcher again, I'm going to click on New Project. I'm going to click on Media, then My Media, and then I'm going to import a folder. I'm going to open one of my own sample files and drag it to the timeline. Now you can see this clip is almost eight seconds long. I'm going to hit play to hear the normal sound, which is my own male voice speaking in English. And there along the top edge is the white line indicating opacity. By default, it is set at 100%. Next, with the clip selected, I'm going to click on Edit, and then select Audio at the top, and finally, the AI Voice Changer. Without using any of the menu selections, let's just click directly on Jenny, who is supposed to be a young English speaking girl. And there along the top edge is the white line indicating opacity. I like the name Jenny. You should too. Her phone number is 867-5309. So when you listen to Jenny's five second preview, she continued to speak in English, but is now speaking in a female voice. Next, let's try out one of the Japanese avatars, Ayaka. And then along the top edge is the white line indicating opacity. She also spoke in English. Just to make sure, let's chose Thibault, one of the French avatars. And there along the top edge is the white line indicating opacity. He also spoke in English. Now even at this point, if I make a different language selection, from the voice changer menu. All of the avatars will continue to speak in English. In this example, let's choose Chinese. The only thing that happens is that the list of avatars will shrink considerably. Let's pick a female voice such as Sung. And there along the top edge is the white line indicating opacity. She also spoke in English. So now let's just click on apply and continue on. The program will render the new audio clip to replace the one on the timeline. And now let's close the voice changer window. So regardless of what language choice is made from within the program, 
the rendered audio is always in the same language as the original audio. The language never changes. The language choice made on the voice changer edit page only narrows down the list of the avatars based on their ethnicity. Now that we've cleared up that confusion, we can only hope that Cyberlink modifies the menu or maybe add some explanatory language. But now let's look at what I call a real bug within the AI voice changer. Maybe I just spent the last 30 minutes to an hour editing down my video clip, enhancing the colors, tweaking the original audio somewhat, and then I used the voice changer to change the voice to this Chinese speaking female. I foolishly may have applied the voice changer to my video. Maybe now I want to go back to the original audio prior to using voice changer. Can it be done? In most other modifications to video or audio, you can click on the small green box on that track to reopen the modification and then reset or completely remove the modification. But nothing happens from this small green box. It doesn't even open up the voice changer. So let's click and manually, we'll click on edit and manually open up the voice changer. Several of you are probably screaming at me right now, just click on none. All right, let's try that. With voice changer reopen, I can click on none until I'm blue in the face. It seems to be selected, but the blue apply button just does not become active. Maybe I should click on the clear all above the choices. Nope, that only closes any choices that might have been made. Once again, nothing happens. The apply button never activates. It seems that once you hit apply for any of the voices, there isn't any way of going back to the original. I may have lost all of the previous video and audio editing before I foolishly tried using voice changer. My only choice would be repetitively hitting Control Z until I got back to the original audio. That is very artificial, but not very intelligent. And I'm open for suggestions from anyone that has figured out a way to easily remove the voice changer modifications. Maybe I'm missing something here. Speaking of missing something, as Fire Marshal Bill would say, let me show you something. Let's scroll all the way down through the complete list of avatars and take note of the special effects at the bottom. Now, let's click on Audio Editor in the menu on the left side column instead of the Voice Changer. In the Effects menu on the left side, we'll click on Vocal Transformer. And then I'm going to click on the presets just to see what is available. Hmm, man, woman, child, robot, duck. Don't these options look familiar? Remember the word new on the launcher shortcut for the AI voice changer? Doesn't really seem to be so new now. Well, next, notice down at the bottom, under special, are two other choices the radio, and the phone. Yep, the same things from the supposedly new voice changer. It appears that Cyberlink took the choices in the audio editor for the vocal transformer and the radio and phone choices, combined them into one feature, and then called it new, when it was all existing stuff to begin with. And why does it take the voice changer so long to render the audio when the audio editor will do it nearly instantaneously. One last thing I never really showed, but instead of setting all those various parameters for the language, the gender, and the age, 
you can click directly on the avatar of your choice. If you remembered which one of those that you like, or maybe have made it a favorite, then the favorites will show at the beginning of the list, where you can just click directly on it. My verdict about the AI voice changer feature? Sorry, but I'll pass on it. The audio editor already provides the ability to change gender or to change to one of the special effects. The voice changer merely provides a roundabout method of doing the same. I want to thank all of you for watching this video. I really hope that I've helped clear up any confusion about the use of the voice changer. Be sure to come back for more. And please hit that subscribe button.